This winter, Captain Hayden Mullins of Dragon Sport Fishing had been landing some huge stripers in the West Delta. This March, I jumped aboard Hayden's boat and we departed the Pittsburgh Marina in search of big, bad striped bass. A group of friendly fish sniffer supporters joined me on the adventure. So where are we heading today, Hayden? What are we what are we gonna do today? Uh, we're gonna fish Hopper Bay area. We're gonna fish around Pittsburgh a little bit. We're gonna catch the high water over here. And then we're gonna maybe move down to Hawker Bay and try to get a half down the So we're gonna are we gonna start out targeting stripers today? Uh, yeah. All right. You've been getting some big ones. Yeah, several fish over 40 pounds in the last two weeks. Wow, very impressive. Well, we'll see what happens out here on the water. After departing the marina, we took in the sights and sounds of the West Delta as Hayden motored to one of his honey holes. So when, when you're looking for big stripers out here, are you using the sonar to find fish or are you just fishing your marks, places that you know they hang out? Both. Both? Both. Mm. How deep are you fishing? Uh, we've been fishing in the 35 to 45 foot range. Okay. When big arches like these started showing on the screen of the Furuno, it was time to drop the anchor and get the baits in the water. With the anchor set, it didn't take Hayden long to rig up some big baits and get them into the water. So I might have to talk them in to bite, you know, to swallow it. It might take two, three minutes for the, for the fish to swallow it. But once, once they get that second rung going, we got them, okay? And the fish, you know, like I said, the fish that we've been getting, they've all been big. You know, very, very, very few fish under 20 pounds. And with that, the waiting started. We'll be right back after these messages. Tell us what's going on there, Hayden. What's happening? Oh, we've got a nice striper. He's chewing on the bait a little bit. All right. This is our, our first first bite of the day on these big baits. Come on, take it. Step up here. There he goes. Now. You can see Hayden just feeding him line ever so gently. When, when you've got a big striper and a bait, Hayden, how, how long do you let them run? You can't let them run too far. Okay. You just want to make sure that you uh, that you get it, that they get the bait all the way down. A lot of times they'll run out and they'll turn around and come back towards the boat. But... Does he have it in his mouth? Can you feel him down there? Yeah. Yeah. See the tip out just barely. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we get a hook in this fish so we can see him, but the bite was was very subtle. Hey, when you go to set the hook on these, you want to get a running start. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at him now. Yeah, okay, he's picking up speed. I'll be good. Just, just steady crank, just real easy because you got a hook on the throat. 
Awesome. Got our first hookup of the day. Now see, one of the keys to catching big fish is showing up for a day of fishing with your bib overalls on. Hey, that, lets, that lets them know you're serious, baby. <laughs> That's how the old farts are. <laughs> Not about to let them hey, I'm a junior old fart. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Brad from Reno predicted that this is a catfish. <laughs> I don't it wasn't the monster we'd been dreaming of, but at least we were on the board and had a great eating striper in the box. Good job, Merle. Got a nice keeper striper for dinner. Awesome. Dinner's oh. on. Dinner is on. All right. We've had them on both sides now. <laughs> now that's your personal rod with the pink grip. Do you find the pink rod gives you an edge, Hayden? Yeah, I really do. Got another one. Now we, we caught that first fish about five minutes ago, and now we got another one running. This one over here now. One so. or two. Two. So they're just like all stripers everywhere. They're all on the same page. We're all not biting. We're all biting. <laughs> School's out, so they want to all play. Yep, it's it's happy hour. Well, you're starting to pick up speed now. Yeah. All right. Here we go, here's Brad from Reno on the rod. Hang on, Brad. You <laughs> got this thing. That's a good look. Yeah. I saw a tail. Oh yeah! After Brad landed his fish, things slowed down again, and we never did get the big bass we were looking for. Nevertheless, we learned a lot about big bait striper fishing, and we got some tasty striper fillets to boot. I can't wait to hit the water with Captain Hayden again. I'm still looking for a 30 plus pound striper, and I think he's the guy that's going to put me on that fish of a lifetime. Catch me on the next episode of Fishing the West with Cal Kellogg.